Now on RT1, Libby sets Chris free in Shortland Street. Because of Ty, Lewis is now considering trading in his spray can for a school bag. Helping Ty read. Yeah, we can see. Just about to make a couple. Who wants one? Yeah, yes, please. Sure. Actually, I might take off. Oh, don't leave because of us. We'll stay right out of your way. Or we could use my room. I think we've done enough for tonight. Oh, it's just getting into it. Don't pressure her, Ty. She might not come back. You're welcome here anytime, Tracy. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or we could use my room. Very cute. Can't blame a fella for trying. Hey. Who cares if they see? I know. Why are you ashamed of me? I just need some time to get my head around it after all the things I've said about you. You aren't allowed to change your mind. <laughs> no more I am going. We'll see you already. Looks like we're both dining alone, Callum. Is that a bit sad? Well, you could always join me. I haven't ordered yet. Oh, if you're sure I won't interrupt your work. No, no, I'm reviewing throughput figures. I wanted to talk to you anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, uh, the PCC patient numbers are down. Is that because TK has moved on? Oh, certainly not. I know some of his regulars tried to follow him into ED, but that was only because he wasn't clear about his new role. It's all sorted now. So the numbers... The new locum has made a slow start. I thought you said he showed promise. Oh, he does. Adrian is full of potential. He is making leaps and bounds every day. So I'll see that reflected in next month's report. Oh, absolutely. Good. Could you just give us a few more minutes and bring some more bread, please? I am hearing great things about TK's work in ED. Really? Uh, their throughput figures are nothing special. Are they down? No. Even though he's the new boy? Good, but that's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, he'll do for now. For now? I thought you'd be keen Brooke, to... Brooke, you know as well as I do that Kip is an inexperienced HOD. His management skills, well, they're unproven. That's why I intend to bring in a... Well, an experienced seasoned trauma doctor to back him up. Someone as good as Sarah. Oh, good luck with that. But I think you'll find TK is a hard act to follow. Speaking of which, uh, Gerald tells me that PCC TV has been shut down for a week. What's going on there? Oh, technical issues. I have someone on it. You've pressed home how urgent that is? Oh, of course. But you know what IT are like. They move to the beat of their own drum. Well, just get in there and get it up and running before one of our sponsors shows up. Or you will have issues with me. Harry? Today is rubbish day. Harry is doing the honours. Oh, good for you. So your day off as well? Uh-huh. So hanging out with us? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've sorted the recycling. Take the whole lot out the bag and then wash up for breakfast, okay? Okay. He's a good kid. He sure is. Would you like a coffee? I can offer you toast and jam to go with it. Well, I stopped at the bakery on the way here. I picked up croissants and pain au chocolat. I wasn't sure which was Harry's favourite, so... They're even Stevens. He's going to love you for this. <laughs> I'd settle for being liked. Harry has always liked you. Oh, he did when we were colleagues, but nothing he knows we're more than that. Will you stop worrying? He hardly even flinched when he heard we were going out. He flinched? He didn't I'm tell I'm joking. Me. He's fine with it. Maybe he's hiding his real feelings. Well, did you bring those? Uh, yes, I did. Guilty. <laughs> awesome. You can come for breakfast at any time. <laughs> That's thank you and Harry speak in case you didn't get it. You're very welcome. Turn the oven on, eh? We'll warm these up. You see? You're a winner. <laughs> Reminder, those stitches need to come out in the week. Will do. Thanks, kid. Good. Good morning. 
Good morning. Boss, what brings you here? Oh, I'm just checking in. I've been on to our medical recruitment guy. He's struggling to find more ED doctors for us to interview. No worries, we'll go up and find them. TK settling in fine? He's awesome, yeah. Well, excellent. Well, carry on. Uh, but I might just stay and observe for a while. Observe who? TK or me? No, the whole department. Look, is this about the bananas? No, mate, you? I'm just doing my job. With no fellow consultant to lighten your load, you have a lot on your plate. I just want to make sure it's not too much. Ke Excuse me, uh, Mrs. Lautoga's ex is back? Just pretend I'm not here, okay? Trouble? He's observing, meaning he's checking up on me. Uh, for how long? Until he gets bored or I stuff up. Which you want. You found your feet, your team are happy, it's all good now. <sighs> Cheers, Trace. Just think of me as a fly on the wall, mate. I'll try. Yeah, are you not using the computer? I want to check waiting times. Be my guest. Yep. Bring Mr. Chang through for me, give a one. Sure. Hey, babe. Ty, you can't be in here. What's the problem? Oh, we're working and the boss has just come to check us out. Okay, I didn't know. Came to give you this. Uh, oh, no, I feel terrible. That's really sweet, thank you. Hey, you're not here. When can I see you? Tonight, at yours, if we can be alone. I'll make sure. Well, you pop those in your locker till then. You'd say if you changed your mind, eh? I haven't. I just want my private life to be private. Yeah? yeah. I suppose. So we're clear. From 5am to midnight, I want all the presenter links replaced with database footage. Marked here. No more Dr. Samuels, then? Mm, not during working hours. Mm -hmm. He's left the PCC. Having him on screen simply confuses people. And I'd like that done today. Right. Sooner, if possible. Thanks, Clive. I won't forget this. Two minutes. For you, always. Come in. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about that little girl we saw yesterday, Anna. The enlarged lymph nodes. Yeah, she's been on my mind too. Yeah, well, I dug around and I found a few similar case studies. So it's all in here. Uh, symptoms, diagnoses, treatment plans. You might find the information useful. I'm sure I will. Thanks for this. I didn't expect it. Well, you'd never get around to it yourself, not with a full patient load and a trainee locum. And since I had time to spare... Then... Time to spare? The Research Council has spies, you know. They'll hear you and cut off your funding. I'll probably do that anyway. If I don't pull finger, I'd better get back to it. <sighs> Okay, mate, that's your last one. Nuh uh. Oi! I was getting it for SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, right, so he can watch you eat it. <laughs> SpongeBob? Harry's rabbit. Harry never gives some cakey things because he knows how bad they are for bunny bellies. What's with the shark? <laughs> I don't know you had any pets, Harry. Do you want to meet him? Yeah, sure. Upstairs first, eh? Wash that food off. Well, they went down well, but you don't have to bring something every time. I know. Libby, it's just... He likes you. You're meeting SpongeBob. <laughs> Tedbrook? No. Why not? Harry and her never had it off. I think there was resentment there from the start. I should have noticed it sooner. The good thing is I have learned from experience and I can say for sure that you have passed the Harry acceptance test. Please believe me. Okay, I do. At last. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'll grab us a coward from the fridge. We is going rabbit hunting. <laughs> Why did you shut the door? What do you think? <gasps> lock from the inside? No. Oh, look, I told you I'd see you after work. Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm on the dishes run. Oh, you should probably get back to work before you're missed. I won't be. Well, I will, so. What's going on? Ty just needed a bandage. That ought to do it. Do what? Cook cut his head. There's a first aid kit in the kitchen. Yeah, but no bandages. Well, then he should have gone to ED. You could have told me. No, that. it's not that bad. I can handle it all right. You have the bandages too? Yeah. If I don't get these to ED, there'll be blood everywhere. Ty brought his uh, dishes trolley with him to get bandages. Yeah, go figure, eh? Okay, you'll need fresh hay. Harry, can you get that? But don't feed him till I get there, okay? I won't. No loud noises. He freaks out and runs for cover. Shh, 
<laughs> oh no. Maybe he's sleeping. I don't think so. He's dead. Oh no, poor Harry. He'll be gutted. Not if you're quick. You can hide SpongeBob somewhere. I'll tell Harry that he's run away and we'll look in the other direction. It's a kind thought, Libby, but we can't substitute another rabbit. No, I guess they don't all look the same, not like goldfish. Aside from that, death is a part of life. Harry needs to understand that. I think it's important for him. Of course. Sorry. Hey, don't we? I need some help here, Dad. What happened? I'm sorry, mate. He's gone. He's dead. No. Uh, shouldn't you be using gelofusin to control the hypovolemia? It's not written down here. Yeah, research shows that jello and saline are very similar in a situation like this. Is BP stable? So the saline's doing the job. Okay, sure. The IV cannula is 18 gauge. I would have thought 14 to 16 would be indicated given that the patient is hemorrhaging. Yeah, his veins aren't great, so I could only put an 18 in. Cap, MVA on the way. One status one, two status two, and multiple head spinal and abdo injuries, among others. Okay. Uh, Cal, could you take this for me? Yeah, right, sure. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Find a way to get him out of here before I totally lose my cool. Yeah, never. I mean, a trace. I've had it with his nitpicking. Fake an admin crisis, anything. Just get him out of here before the ambos arrive. Well, why don't you put him to work? Assign him one of the casualties. That'll get him out of here. Oh, nice idea, but... But what? It's an emergency. It's all hands to the pumps. And he can't say no, especially if you're short-staffed. Guess what? I'm on another tea break. Why don't we just had one? Yeah, Kip wants me out of ED for some reason. Is Callum still there? Yeah, it's weird. You're busy, I wasn't thinking. No, no, it's okay. My research can wait. I'd rather talk to you. You must be bored. I don't like working alone, TK. I find it hard. I told you that. I, I'm used to having people around. I know, I didn't mean And it. because I'm sure you're dying to ask, no, Brooke hasn't been here looking I for... I never mentioned Brooke. The first day in months, I noticed. <laughs> well, that's what you wanted, Sarah. You accused me of obsessing over it. You were. Well, not now. I'm leaving it to it. Sink or swim, I just hope you can do the same. Well, like I said, she hasn't been back. Your precious PCC is under control. She doesn't need either of us. I thought you'd be pleased. Callum. Yes. Yeah, cubicle two, fractured humerus, concussion. I sent him over to x-ray, put him on half-hour neuro-orbs. Oh, thanks and well done. No, I should be praising you. That was quite an influx. Uh, your control was impressive, Kim. So you didn't mind me snapping orders at you? Not at all. I just wish I could stay longer and observe you more. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> so where was TK? Oh, I'm here to take an early lunch at the, uh, the dentist or something. He'll be back any minute. Well, his absence was untimely, but uh, you proved your point. What point? Well, if you can handle a crisis like that without any real backup, then this department is in good hands. And uh, TK couldn't have a better mentor. Well, thanks, Callum. I appreciate that. Good. Well, my work here is done. Uh, have TK take care of my patient, yeah? Sure. You beauty, what a plan. <laughs> we showed him what you're really made of, and it is about time. And I owe you for that. Uh, I'll page TK, and when the dust settles, I'm shouting you lunch. Okay. <laughs> Sign here, please. You okay? I know it's hard, and I know you miss him. But SpongeBob had a really great life, didn't he? He did, mate. He was loved and happy and pampered like crazy. That's why you got to look after him for so long. Never seen such a contented old grandpa rabbit, eh? Mum gave him to me. Sorry, mate, what did you say? I said Mum gave him to me, and now he's dead just like her. I hate SpongeBob. Harry! Oh, no. Poor kid, I didn't realise. Yeah, Tony gave him the rabbit. I hadn't forgotten, just I still thought this was the best way to handle it. Maybe I was wrong. If there's any side effects, she just comes straight back in. Oh, okay. It's okay. We're supposed to keep consults to 15 minutes. I'm trying. 
I know you are, Adrian. And I realise that I've been pushing you very hard. You have, actually. It's the flow-on effect. Dr Mackay grills me about throughput figures, so I put the pressure on you. It gets us nowhere. Mm, exactly. Which is why I'm giving you the rest of the day off. To relax and regroup. But I can't. Oh, you can. We're light on bookings. No, I need the money. But you'll get paid for the whole shift. Really? Unless you sit there and look at me like a stunned mullet, in which case I might change my mind. Look, the numbers are all way back tomorrow. Just you see. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt. Why don't we go out for a while, eh? Take a walk along the beach. That'll make you feel better. What about a kick around with a soccer ball? No, go away. Carrie. I don't know what to do, it's like he blames me. Look, he's upset. He needs to take it out on someone. Why don't you go outside and put away the spades and stuff and I'll sit with him. You sure? Yeah, you go. Okay, I'll only be a minute. If he wants me... You're outside. I know how you feel, Harry. When I was four, my dad bought me a puppy, Tinkerbell. And she died when I was 12. It was terrible. It was the worst feeling I could ever imagine. Until my dad died. I still cry for him sometimes. And when I think about Tinkerbell, I get a little lump in my throat right here. Same. But it means that they loved us, and we love them, and we're lucky for that. It's not lucky when things die. No, it's not. It's very sad. What if it's my dad next? I don't want him to die. I don't want him to leave me. Oh, Harry, he won't. How do you know? Mum got sick. They can't save her. And SpongeBob died in hey, the Hey, hey, hey. Your dad is fit and strong and well, and he knows how much you need him. So he's not going anywhere. You promise? I promise. Come here. Oh, now you are Callum's golden boy. Don't go mucking up again. No, sir. No more entertaining the troops. From now on, I'm all about getting the job done. In a firm, fair, good-natured way. Like the firm, fair, good-natured guy I am. Exactly. <laughs> so, how are things with you, uh, anyway, on the uh, personal front? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I just thought one of us might have struck it lucky. Well, you're more likely than me. You've at least had a oh, relationship. Oh, with Gabrielle. That wasn't a relationship. That was a uh, social experiment. Don't be mean. Hey, this is the guinea pig talking. <laughs> I was used. Ha! Seriously, the woman doesn't have any communication skills. She doesn't know what a joke is. And as for pillow talk, as soon as the deed was done, she was right out of there. Wham, bam, thank you, Sam. And you thought I was hard to put up with. I never thought that. You dumped me. Only because you were going to dump me first. We both know that. How the heck did you manage that? Ah, he's worn out. I saw the crying. I don't think so. <laughs> what did you say to him? Nothing. He just needed some reassurance. That I couldn't give him. Hey, I wanted to talk about you, not to you. You must have had moments like that with your dad. All the time. That's why I was so close to my mum. Harry doesn't have their choice. No. So he turned to me. And I'm hardly Tony. I mean, he must miss her terribly. He doesn't talk about it a lot, but yeah, he does. I'm really glad you were here today. No one else could have filled that gap. Thank you. I hate to ask, Sarah, and I wouldn't if I didn't have to. I want to make that clear. What's wrong? Adrian's left me in the lurch. He's gone home sick on the very day that we are booked out. I was wondering if you could cover for him? For the whole afternoon? Just this once. I swear I won't make a habit of it. I really should be doing my research. Have you spoken to Callum about this? There's no time to source a new locum. I'll have patients rioting on me. Please, you will be doing me a huge favour. Well, if the situation is as desperate as all that... It is. Then how can I refuse? I'm all yours. 
Bless you. <laughs> you know, the thing that gets me is the lies. She made us all believe that she got pregnant by mistake, a, a one night stand or whatever, but we all felt sorry for her. It's true, we did. When babies do that to some women, they don't care who they hurt or deceive, they just... Hey, ladies. Hey, I've got to go get JJ. What did I say? Nothing, you just walked in on girl talk. Time. How many times do I have to tell you not at work? But you wouldn't say that to me if I was a hotshot doctor. Oh, come on, please, of course I would. But you got on here with Kip Denton. No, I didn't. And don't play the jealousy card with me. I don't like it. Kip and I are friends now, that's all. So what am I, a dirty little secret? You're not my dirty little anything. We haven't made it that far yet. So you're coming round tonight? When you call and say that you're alone. I'll keep your phone close. on my way to find you. Hmm? Glad I came back for this. It's amazing what you hear when you least expect it. Ty Scott's a criminal. He's on Home D. Where do you get off? He's a nice guy. So is Kingy. That didn't stop you ripping into me. You know what? At least I was honest about him, unlike you in the supply room. He took me by surprise. Save your breath, Tracy. You're worse than Morgan. She might be a liar, but you are a hypocrite. He's still asleep. I think those pastries sent him into hibernation. Lip, you okay? Not really, no. You're upset. No wonder. It's been an emotional day. Yeah, it has for Harry. Oh, he's okay. You were just what he needed. Sorry, Chris. I have to go. Well, why? Libby, tell me what's happening. I felt really attached to Harry today. Really needed. And important. You were. But that's the problem. The more time we, we spend together, the closer we'll get. I know that. And? And what if you and I break up in a few months, like everyone says we will? He'll feel like I've abandoned him. <laughs> that's crazy. You can't worry about but what I, might happen. I am worried. Harry needs permanence in his life more than anything, and I, I can't risk letting him down. I just can't. Well, so what are you saying? That it's over for us? Maybe it is. Relive the glitz and glam of last night's Oscars with highlights from 9 o'clock tonight over on RTE2.